Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to talk you through some steps to find the missing side in a right angle triangle. The first question you should always ask yourself when you see a right angle triangle and you're asked to find a missing side is, can I use Pythagoras' theorem? However, we cannot use Pythagoras' theorem in this question because we don't know this side. If we knew that side and we knew the 10 centimeters and we knew we were trying to find the other short side, we could use Pythagoras. However, we don't know that, so we can't use it. So we're going to then go to, I suppose, step two of trigonometry, which is talking about sine, cos and tan, which we should hopefully know are our three trig ratios. Now, in my class, the way that I help or ask students to remember this is using so ka toa and what that stands for is so means that sine of an angle x is equals to o over h ka means cos of x is equals to a over h and toa means tan of the angle x is equals to o over a. In my last video I went through how to label the triangles O, A and H so if you're not sure of that just go back and have a look at that one. So when we're starting off this question we're thinking we have three different trig ratios and we need to figure out which one to use to solve this question. So now we're going to get into my different steps. Step one is we are going to label this triangle. So every single trig question that you do now from here until your junior cert, your leaving cert, you always label it. We know that the side opposite the right angle, we call it H for hypotenuse. The side opposite the angle that we are given, which is 30 degrees, we call that O, and the leftover side, we call that A. Step two is we are going to circle everything that we know about this right angle triangle and everything that we want to know. So I know that H is 10 centimeters. I know that we have an angle of 30 degrees and I'm trying to find out side O, which is labeled as an X. People may look at this now and say, well, what about A? Well, actually in this case, the adjacent is irrelevant. It doesn't help us, so we forget about it. That's step two. Step three then is we use what we've circled to figure out which trig ratio to use. I've circled two letters, the letter O and the letter H. So you need to go across and find out which trig ratio out of so katoa has an O and a H. And what you should notice is that so is the one that works because it's the only one that has an O and a H. Step four then is we go and write down our trig ratio. So I'm going to write down underneath sine of x is equals to O over H. And step five is we fill in all the information. So remember, beside your sine, cos or tan, we normally write like the letter X or A or B or something. But if we know what the angle is, we write it in. So I'm going to change that to sine of 30 degrees is equals to O over H. Now what is O labelled as? It's labelled as the letter X. And what is H? It's the number 10. Now to finish, all we need to do is a little bit of algebra to get X by itself. So we say to ourselves, what is the 10 doing to the X at the moment? It's dividing it. So to get rid of it, I must multiply both sides by 10. And you're going to use your calculators for this. So therefore, 10 multiplied by sine 30 is equals to 5 centimetres. So we found our missing side. I would always ask you to do a quick little check at this point and say, does that answer make sense? We know that the longest side of our triangle is always the hypotenuse, which is 10 centimetres. So 5 centimetres would make sense for a shorter side. However, if we got the answer of 50 centimetres, we would know that we did something wrong. So please always do that at the end just to check your work. So guys, if you want to have a go at this question, maybe pause the video. You're trying to find out length x. So go through the different steps. Start off by labelling it, finding which trig ratio to use, filling it in, and then rearranging it to get the correct answer. 
Um, so pause the video now, have a go at this question and then come back and see how you got on. So step one, I'm going to label my triangle. So I'm starting off with the hypotenuse, which is opposite the right angle. The side opposite my 30 degrees, I'm going to label O. And the leftover side, I'm going to label A. Next, I'm going to circle what I know and what I'm trying to find out. So I know that I've got an angle of 30 degrees. I know that the side O is worth 8. And I'm trying to work out what X is. Now I'm going to say to myself, well, out of so ka toa, which one has an O and a H? And the one that has an O and a H is so. So I'm going to write out the proper trig ratio underneath. So so, or sorry, sine A or B or whatever you want to call the angle to begin with is equals to O over H. Therefore, sine of the angle, which is 30 degrees, is equals to O, which is 8 over h, which in this case is x. Now the reason I picked this example is it's slightly more tricky than the one before because the x is on the bottom of the fraction. So we need to do a little bit of rearranging here. But basically what's going to happen is that the x is going to come up here because we have to multiply it and then we have to get rid of the sign 30 so that's going to go down below. So therefore we're going to be left with x is equals to 8 over sine 30. And all you need to do is put that into your calculator, 8 divided by sine 30, and that's going to give you x is equals to 16.